It's James here from GoodGuitarist.com, and today I'm going to show you an easy strumming version of Other Side by Red Hot Chili Peppers. Now, this tune is actually quite simple when you strip it down to just the chords and strumming pattern. It uses the most common strumming pattern ever, and none of the chords are tricky, so it's a pretty simple tune. If along the way you find you need any extra help, I have a bunch of resources. There's my free ebook, which goes over all the basics of chords and strumming. There's my complete beginner's course, which does that, but like a hundred times over, you know, it, uh, it shows you everything in a bunch of different ways to really help you build up the fundamentals, you know, build up your sense of rhythm, build up your dexterity, all the stuff that you need in order to go further on guitar. And I also have a chord chart available for this tune on my Patreon. I'll put links to all that stuff down below. Otherwise, let's just get started with the chord shapes. There's A minor. <laughs> That goes into an F chord, and we could play an F bar chord. But I think that this chord, the simpler way to play it, is totally fine. We put our first finger on the first fret of the B string, middle finger on the second fret of G, pinky on the third fret of D, and then our ring finger just above it on the A string at the third fret. We take our thumb and we lightly cover the thickest string. And there you go, that's a simpler way to play F. And for our easy F chord, we're gonna go to C, and there's a bit of a trick when we do that switch. We can leave our third finger and our first finger. We can leave them down, and then finish up our C chord. So try that a little bit, too. From C, we go to G, and I like to play G this way if I'm coming from a C chord. You can also play G the regular way, or the other way, whichever way is most comfortable for you. And later on in the tune, we have an E minor, and that's, that's it, five chord shapes total. So first, let's take a look at our chorus. It's A minor, F, C, and G. Work through them a few times, just going through the fingering, A minor, leave the first finger down to F, leave those two fingers into C, Switch into G as smoothly as you can, and then back into A minor. You know, do it silently a few times. And when you're ready, we can play them using downstrokes only, counting out loud, and that'll give us the chorus. We'll do that progression three times. One, two, three, four. Now before we move on and learn the verse and the bridge, let's take a look at the strumming pattern so we can at least put the first part of the song completely together. Uh, the strumming pattern goes like this. And that is the most common strumming pattern ever. I'll do it a little bit slower. Three and four and. And I've gone over this before in its own tutorial, so I'll put a link to that down below. But let's just take a minute and go through it ourselves right now. I'm gonna mute the strings by lightly touching them. And we're gonna break this strumming pattern down into two halves. First, we have down, down, up. So we have a down stroke on one and a down up on two. One, two. Now the second half is a little bit tricky. We're gonna be missing beat three, so we still have to feel the beat, either by tapping our foot or by counting three out loud or by you know feeling it in some way. We miss the strings and then up, down, up. One, two, miss, up, down, up. One, two, miss, up, down, up. We have those two halves, we can put them back together. One, two, miss, up, down, up. One, Two, miss, up, down, up, down, down, up, miss, up, down, up. 
And like I said before, if you need any extra help with that pattern, I go over it in like every single thing that I've ever made. So I'll put links to, stuff, to some stuff down below. Anyways, we have our pattern. We have our basic chord progression for the chorus. Let's put that together. We're gonna do our pattern one time per shape, starting on A minor. One, two, three, So we play our chord progression three times and that's the entire chorus. Next we're going to move on and learn the verse. Now that E minor chord is going to come into play. There's a lot of going from A minor to E minor. So work that out. I, I leave down my middle finger when I do that. And this whole thing is just A minor, E minor, and G. The order might confuse you because it is just those three shapes. An easy way to think about it though is we go A minor to E minor three times and then G to A minor and then we just repeat that all again and then we go G to A minor a couple extra times at the end. So you'll see the pattern come together. You know, you might have to go through this a few times but I'll be calling stuff out and pointing out all the little patterns. Let's, let's do it. Just downstrokes only. One, two, three, four. A minor to E minor three times, E minor, so that was the first time, second time. Third time, and then we're going to go G to A minor. We'll do this all again. A minor to E minor three times. One, two, three, four. Second time. Three, four. Third time. Then G to A minor. A couple times. Now we're gonna do G for a bit longer. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and A minor for a bit longer. So you might have to go through that a few times before you get it. Don't forget there's that chord chart on my Patreon so you can always just read this and follow along that way. Um, either way, we have the verse, we have the chords down, we already know the strumming pattern, so let's put that together, the chords and strumming for the verse. One, two, three, four. Third time.
so that's the verse. The only thing we have left to learn is the bridge, and that is the simplest part. It just goes between E minor and C. We do our strumming pattern two times on each chord, and then we switch, and then we do that all over again. Let's just jump right in and try that. You can always rewind, you know, you can always just watch what I'm doing and then rewind after and try it. So starting off on E minor, two times, one, two, three, four. So that's it, those are all three components of this tune, the verse, chorus, and the bridge. All we have left to do is glue it together. Now as far as the order of the parts, we basically go between the chorus and the verse two times, and then we go chorus, bridge, chorus, and we're out. So if you look at what parts are beside each other, you have to be able to go between the chorus and the verse, and go between the chorus and the bridge. So let's put together our own little version of this tune. We're gonna start off with the verse, and then play the chorus, and then play the bridge, and then the chorus again. So that'll get you through every transition that you'll need to be doing. Let's try it out. Oh, one, two, three, four. for the guitar solo. So that's how you play Other Side by Red Hot Chili Peppers. If you need any extra help, don't forget about my resources. There's my free ebook, my beginner's course, bar chords made easy. I have a whole bunch of whole bunch of stuff. There's links to all that down below. Uh, there's that chord chart on the Patreon. Um, yeah, and if you need any extra help, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, have a fun time practicing, and I'll see you soon.